Hey guys, this is Mark from Periphery and you are watching Alternative Press. <laughs> Hey guys, Mark from Periphery here, and I wanted to talk to you today about how I go about warming up before a show. And um, when it comes to sort of getting loose and making sure that I'm ready for a show, it comes down to two different types of, of exercises and techniques that I, that I warm up with. The most important, arguably for me, is my left hand. Um, I have quite long, gangly fingers, and I tend to use them for bigger, extended chords uh, in, uh, in my rhythm playing. And when I'm sitting there before a show, as opposed to doing more focused practice, which is valuable to, to actually focus your practice, I do the exact opposite. I sort of just sit there and I'll mime different chord shapes that I know that I'm gonna be playing. I, I have some trouble spots that I identify sometimes in a live set and I will always focus on those trouble spots. For instance, if a chord is giving me trouble, I'll have that chord picked out of my mind and I'll sit there and sort of mime it. I won't even pick through it, nor will I even be plugged in, I'll kind of just mime through different chord shapes. So, I mean, for instance, if there's a set of chords. Sort of longer extended chords that I know I can get tripped up on if I'm having an off night, I'll, I'll always sit there and try to mime those out before I go on stage. And for my right hand, what I'll do is I'll take an exercise that I already know, like a pretty standard a chromatic exercise, a series of four notes or something. It's a pretty commonly used exercise, but what I'll do is I'll add another note to it, or I'll subtract a note, basically make it an odd meter or make it an odd number. We have a lot of really awkwardly timed passages in our music that requires you to, to be on top of a rhythm or a polyrhythm that happens over a 4-4 four, four group. Being comfortable with an odd meter is always helpful when playing our music. <laughs> 